that was Kailua Beach. Now we're walking to the adjacent, just as popular, Mindy Kai Beach. Can't wait. This is one of the top beaches on my list. What's happening, Wanderers? Back again for another video, and today's gonna be a bit of an unexpected last minute journey. We had plans to do some things with some friends. One of them canceled due to some serious circumstances, totally understandable, but we're just trying to regroup and do a trip across the island to Kailua Beach. So it's really gorgeous and beautiful, but it's already like two something and the sun sets at 6.30. It's in about an hour and a half bus ride from Waikiki because we don't have a car. So we have to depend on public transportation about taking an hour and a half to get 10 miles away. So hey, it'll be an adventure. It'll be fun. A little bit of cloud, but some sunshine coming through. We'll document it and take you along the way. Let's go. Bus transfer coming up. Stop number one. Got two more buses to get to the place. Oh, what fun it is to not have a car. So change of plans. My GPS did not incorporate the wait time between the second bus and the third bus. So we just decided to do a nice little 20 minute walk to Kailua Beach, which hey, there's some sun coming out as you might be able to see. And there's gorgeous views of the Green Mountains behind us. The weather's actually perfect. There's a nice cool breeze and the sun's not too hot. Wouldn't you agree? No, it's too cold this morning. Vanessa's an optimist, gotta love it. So this is actually our first time on the east side or the windward side of the island. And because of the wind, it brings lots of the rain. So it's gonna be a bit more green and lush and tropical. As we can see from the bus going through these rainforest sort of jungle mountains. And you can tell by the green dramatic mountain lines, just how much rain this area must get to be so lush. All right guys, I think we're finally getting close. Just going along this one last wind and then we'll be at Kailua Beach. Definitely gotta get changed though to hop in. Don't wanna be in my shorts. So the views are unreal, although I don't know if this is uh, sanitary water to swim in this little river canal thing. Lots of fish in it though, so it can't be that bad. life. I have a cool little inflatable bed on Kailua Beach, guys. It's a little cloudy, but gorgeous views. The mountains are on here. The water is nice, light, blue, and clear. Not a ton of good snorkeling so far, although as I've shown you guys, the water is really clear and really calm. So a perfect swimming uh, beach and cool little part of the ocean. Definitely good to chill out and have a good time outside. The bird whisperer. <laughs> After spending a solid hour at Kailua Beach, we wanted to take this hidden little path that winds along the coast to our next destination, which I was so stoked to see, Lanakai Beach with the Mokalua Islands in the distance. Let's go. So that was Kailua Beach, just a brief little stint there. Now we're walking to the adjacent, just as popular, Mindy Kai Beach to maybe see the sunset. Just hang out and see some beautiful beaches, islands, maybe a sunset, we shall see. We finally found the beach access to Atlantic High Beach. Can't wait. This is one of the top beaches on my list. We'll definitely be back here another day too. So even though beach conditions are not optimal, it's absolutely gorgeous here, guys. Definitely gives me Tulum vibes with the blue water. It's very calm and all those dark spots are coral reefs. right off the shore and see plenty of fish, maybe even sea turtles if you're lucky. I'm a little chilly though because of the clouds. It's not that warm either, so I got cold snorkeling around. Definitely come back here on a sunny day to explore more. See the Mokula, Mokulua islands in the background, which I plan on kayaking too. You can see 
this little mountain which has Lanakai pillbox, which is gonna be a perfect place to see the sunrise. I'm gonna try and do that too. Anyway, I'm gonna warm up and try and jog along the beach a little bit and show you guys some pretty sights. This is also like the perfect beach to run. The sand is soft and perfectly firm in some spots. Really good for a nice little run. And it's also a good chance to use our Christmas present that we got, which is really cool, portable, and you look really cool blowing it up. So there wasn't a grandiose sunset, but maybe we'll come here for, well, not maybe, we will come here for a grandiose sunrise in the future. Now it's time to figure out how to get back in the dark, almost dark, to Waikiki from Lanikai. We'll be thinking about this day for at least another day because life's a blur, things are going so quickly. It's hard to soak in the great things, but hey, loved it. Definitely gonna come again, guys. We took our first bus from the beach back into this little, I don't even know if it's a town, but busier strip. The next bus is coming in 20 minutes. We're gonna get some snacks to hold us. We're gonna make an actual di dinner back at home, but definitely a little hungry. Haven't eaten since lunch, so. Travel day is still not over, but it's great so far. Not too cold either. So that wraps up our amazing day, checking out the beaches in the east side of Hawaii, Kailua Beach and Lanakai Beach. Kailua Beach was really cool and I definitely think it was beautiful, but for me, Lanakai stole my heart. This is one of my favorite beaches, not only in Hawaii, but the entire world. We will actually revisit the Mokalua Islands in the future on a kayak and the Lanakai Pillbox for a sunset hike. So make sure to check those out, subscribe for more Hawaii content. Peace.